beautiful work inspired by ruins. The compositions of Arabesque Rising recounts the story of four ancient cities in the Middle East. Composer Thomas Nassif explores ancient history by connecting visual arts, music, and architecture. And he's here to tell us about this synthesis of music and visual art forms. How did you come up with this concept? Well, it all started two years ago. Andrea, when I went to uh, Lebanon as a science teacher mm -hmm. to this Middle Eastern country and I was studying these 100 million year old fossils um, that lived during the age of the dinosaurs. And over time, I began to see that, that in Lebanon, the Romans had such a, an amazing impact in terms of the architecture. They built these temples, right. some of them 70 feet high, um, also a Roman hippodrome where they would um, host the chariot races, six and a half football, football fields long, and there's all these amazing um, architectural feats and so I began to um, write music about my experiences so I, I went from science uh, to music and mm -hmm. I've been doing this for the past two years. The music that you wrote it wasn't anything that is based on actual historical significance of the music of that time but just inspired by what you saw. Yes it's more it's it's more of a timeless type of feel because um, 2,000 years ago um, during Roman times, and we really don't know what the music exactly was like. So, I right, mean, it's I, not what we hear in the right. by Cecil B. DeMille or whatever. So, I, it's basically jazz and classical music uh, fused together with a little bit of Middle Eastern influence mm -hmm. <clears throat> to give it that uh, sort of um, that timeless sort of feel. So, I guess when you hear the music, um, it's more the, it's more structured around the architecture and what it must have looked like back at that time, some of these temples. With Arabesque Rising, what the audience is going to see is what you saw, and that is the visual influence yes. and other music. Tell us about the other two collaborators who are working with you. Oh, yes. Um, there are actually three collaborators. Uh, uh, Thad Wilson um, is a noted jazz trumpeter mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C., um, and he will be collaborating with me on some of the pieces, improvising over them. Um, and uh, also uh, Aaron Brophy has actually uh, recreated an entire temple in, inside of this warehouse space that mm -hmm. we've renovated. So um, <clears throat> sculptor Aaron Brophy will be involved in it, and also visual artist um, Ayo Damala Okensende. And he's going to be projecting the visuals onto screen from my original photographs, um, giving them a, um, a, a different twist uh, through computer generation. So <clears throat> really this idea of visual art combined with music is, is really what we're striving for and, and so there's four of us involved. Someone who wants to see and hear and feel and, and, and get the influence of yes. Arabesque Rising that's taking place this weekend. Arabesque Where? Rising, yes, at 52 O Street Artist Studios. Um, that's um, in Northwest uh, near mm -hmm. the corner of 1st and O Street. Um, it's free to the public. Um, and it's going to be an incredible event. Well, it sounds really incredible. Thank you, Great. Thomas, for Thank telling you. us about it. Arabesque Rising. Is, uh, Thomas is appearing at the Artist Studio. Again, it's 52 O Street Northwest tomorrow and Saturday, 7.30 p.m., and on Sunday at 4 p.m.